Uh, I'm out here to protest the Republican National Convention because I, I think it's a shame how they're spending this much money on a party for the Republican delegates when there's so much wrong with the United States. We have so many homeless people, especially here in the city of Tampa, where we have a homeless population of 22,000 plus, and the city got all that money from, from the RNC to provide security for the delegates, but we don't have any services here for the homeless population. We are here because we don't want to leave the field only for the Democrats, you know, people assume you're against the Republicans, you're for Democrats, but we are unhappy with the government and we don't care if it's Democrat or Republicans, because we see alternative only comes from outside, from the Green Party. The Green Party is a party who stands for a single payer healthcare system, the Green Party stands for a reducing of our military budget, the Green Party stands for a better voting system that our country desperately needs. Well, I'm out here because honestly both parties have failed us. You know, we've been telling them what we need, what we want, what we want to end, these wars have to end. Right now we have to our own problems at home, okay? We, need, we don't need to build on, uh, you know, our national security through our war machine. We can, do, we can do it through diplomatic means, you know? Just like they say, instead of dropping bombs, why don't you drop food, you know? Because it's easier to make a friend through kind means than through force. Obama, see this? Bro, you're out, man. You are so out. One of the things Mitt Romney once said was, quote, I don't care about rich people. Rich people can take care of themselves, end of quote. Well, if rich people can take care of themselves, why are they donating huge amounts of money to his campaign? The reason is that there's a huge payoff, and the payoff is going to come from more taxes and reduced benefits for middle-income people and poor people. The reason why I'm here is to protest the Republican National Convention, but in general, the imperialist outlook of both of the parties of our country that absolutely employ austerity measures in order to inflict the crisis that they created onto the working class people. And rather than taxing the rich or restructuring our economic system, they think that cutting social programs is the way to fix this crisis, and that is absolutely unacceptable. One's for the family, two's for the accolades, three's the magic number, I'm the presidential candidate, my platform is this, I'm your motherfucking majesty, royalty, you trust me as such, never casually decapitate your faculty, globally I renovate the game, had another story began a balcony, I be stacking cheese for future generations, I be laughing at these cats, that be scrounging up the paper just for Saturday, I never hesitate to bring the heavy metal straight to your chest plate, ladies fed the way, boobs out the ventilate, y'all really ain't ready to get in the ring with heavyweights, y'all just wanna go so baby, you know, finally that dude I'll leave your street tattoo When we peel out smooth in that CL coup I'm like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar When I fling these hooks And y'all soft as Kleenex And see me don't be spat you I'm out here because I think democracy is threatened I think we're being uh, taken over by a soft fascism A kind of cor 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 corporatocracy And, um, you know, when I was a young man I, I allowed the country to take me to, to send me to Vietnam into a war zone I, I exposed myself. I, I basically gave the country two years of my life and, and put myself in peril. And the idea was that I thought we were for, fighting for democracy. We were tr protecting democracy. No matter how naive I was at the time, that was my feeling. Now, I feel like we've lost it all. And here we are again. And now, we have the... the, the military, the organizations, the police, everybody working against the middle class now. They're, they're containing us. They're, they're kettling us, you know. I said yes, yes, y'all, to the beat, y'all. We be on your block, popping in the streets, y'all. Put it with your peace, we don't need the beef, y'all. Gotta move your body, guaranteed we have a ball. I said yes, yes, y'all, to the beat, y'all.
is to ensure that each and every one of us can live healthy, beautiful lives. And whatever healthy that means to us. Are you for Obama? So, are you for Obama? So, are you for Obama? I, well, what about Obama? I'll just tell you one thing. It comes down it comes down to the same old argument that we've been dealing with for a long time. Which of the two parties, right? This is what we've been dealing with. This is what they've manufactured for us. And what I say to that is that it ain't about left, right, it's about top, bottom right now. Because the top bottoms and the richest 1% are taking and destroying our lives. And it doesn't matter because both presidents are getting a lot of money what from do we the same do? people. How do we fix it? How do we fix it? So we fix it by organizing, talking to each other, and building relationships. Keep on moving forward. So thank you so much. Thank you, Tampa. This is just a chant really quick. It's Romney, escucha, estamos en la lucha. Romney, escucha, estamos en la lucha. Romney, escucha, estamos en la lucha. Right now, our budgets are getting cut. Tuition is rising and student debt is rising. Our future looks dead. When they say cut back, we say fight back. Cut back. Fight back. Cut back. Fight back. Your haters say no to the Republican agenda. No to the RNC. And yes, to affordable education. Hi, I was born in Florida. I was born in Bartow. Um, my parents are actually the ones who are from Mexico. They came here undocumented. My dad got on a train and he held on for four days and then he was across the border. My mom almost drowned crossing the Rio Grande. And so, you know, she's terrified to this day of even going into the ocean. She's like, why do people do that? I almost drowned down there for you to stay here. But, you know, I'm, I'm here because not only are, are my people, my undocumented immigrant, like, friends and family being oppressed, I am also being oppressed second-handedly because I had to live with my parents' fear that they could have been deported the next day. They just became citizens a couple of years ago, and I am so happy. But, but they always say there are many things to fix. They live on the West Coast, and over there, oppression is not how it is down here. They call me all the time and they're like, what are you doing? That's where our people are the most oppressed. And I'm like, mom, this is where the struggle is. This is where we need to liberate our people too. So I will be marching on the Republican National Convention maybe this whole week, but I will also be at the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte next week. And I will be there with my undocumented immigrant friends who are up there fighting the same oppression that we're fighting right here. I said yes, yes, y'all, to the beat, y'all We be on your block, poppin' in the streets, y'all Put away your peace, we don't need the beef, y'all Gotta move your body, guaranteed we have a ball I said yes, yes, y'all, 